Okay, I'm not sure what transportation is going to be like or whether your guest, if you have any guests that's going to be driving. Um, but I wanted you to get an idea of the parking at the hotel for those who want to self park. Um, if they don't want to pay valet, I'm not sure how this is going to be worked out. But basically, this is the parking area and it goes around the entire um, hotel. So all guests will have access to that. Um, also, in the event that there's additional space needed, you can also park within the neighborhood. To my right, this is still the hotel. And this is the parking at the hotel. Right now, I'm just going further down. So you can see the street that they will also have access to to park. So we're right now we're on let me see what street this is we're on 70, 74th Street the next block over to my right is actually 73rd Street so they have this entire street to parallel park and that's if you have guests that's self parking and driving on their own see it's a pretty pretty long stretch they'll just have to walk um, so you have that this is directly behind the hotel there are no restrictions as I know I asked for parking um, because if you're from up north like New York where I lived a number of years there is always restrictions when you parallel park opposite side of the street parking etc what could be very annoying but I was told that that's really not the case here. And this is the back of the hotel where they'll also have parking. All right, so this entire block, which is a pretty big stress, well, stretch, sorry. And I don't know, maybe it's not even something that you'll need, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea anyway. They just have to just look out for the signs and make sure that it's okay to park in that spot. And it's not metered. And um, the lady at the hotel also stated that there's a bar around here as well. And she knows it gets really crowded. So, and this is where a lot of the, um, the customers park. Okay, and again, that's back at the hotel. And that's it.